Okay, with that, I would like to introduce um, the German Fest Board of Directors, who are very instrumental in, in providing you this wonderful festival. First of all, Vice President Ed Keller. Thank you. Secretary Deb Christensen. Treasurer Bob Anweiler. Trustee Adam Berger. Adam? Okay, Adam's not here. He's, he's working. <laughs> uh, at large committee, Ken Scheibenberger. Don Miller. And Judy Svoboda. This year, uh, we lost some very important members to German Fest. One of those is Sarah Keller. Sarah Keller uh, was in charge of our food area, also she was a board member, and I asked Sarah and Ed a few years ago how many years they had been on German Fest board, and neither one of them could come up with a, a total. <laughs> but it's been many, many, many years. But I have something special that I'd like to present to Ed on behalf of German Fest. Um, something that they can display at the Turner's Club from now on through history. Ed, will you come forward, please? Ed is also president of Turner's. Presented in honor and remembrance of Sarah Keller for her many years of unselfish, dedicated service to Fort Wayne German Fest. Sarah's presence will be missed by all, but she will never be forgotten. That's true. Uh, June 8th, 2011. Ed. Also, another member we lost was Dick Bolkern and Virginia Bolkern. Would you come forward, please? It says, presented in honor and remembrance of Dick Bolkern for his years of service to Fort Wayne German Fest, pros to his remembrance. June 8, 2011. <laughs> these, these plaques then will be re uh, represented in each of their respective clubs, the Tur Fort Wayne Turners and the Fort Wayne Manor Court. Okay, uh, to introduce now the chairman of the various committees that put on the 30th anniversary of German Fest. First of all, Susan Scheibenberger, who I have to tell a personal story about. Uh, I have a family member here in town just this week, and they were here visiting and couldn't stay, but in the process they said, well, we want to come down and see German Fest and see what it is. So they said, can we just do a drive-by because we need to get on the road? I said, sure, just follow me. So we came around back and we went, I went around the circle thinking they were going to follow me and they stopped before they got around the back circle. So uh, I went up to the car and I said, well, what's going on? They, said, they started asking me all these questions. So I told them all about German Fest and told them about our Stein, City Stein uh, art contest that, that we have here. And, uh, and just at that time, Bob Anweiler comes out with one of the Steins. <laughs> so then uh, it was like time per exact timing. So then more Steins came out. So then they, they were talking among, them, among themselves. I said, are you sure you don't want to get out and see it? And they said, yes, we definitely do. So they came in here and their first comment was, this place looks like fun. And I decided that I needed to tell this story. This place looks like fun. Thank you, Susan. For, for marketing and web page, uh, Bob Anweiler covers 
not only marketing web page, he also covers our ticket trailer and Garrett Exchange. <laughs> There's Bob. So he has many hats. And besides, he fills in on some other things besides that. Also, uh, Sarah was in charge, I told you earlier, of the food area. But Diane Williams has filled in for her now for food and concessions, along with Laura Johnston, which is Sarah's daughter. So thank you very much, ladies. The grill crew, Jim Williams. Kind of hear that Diane Williams, Jim Williams thing? <laughs> so uh, I think he got roped into it uh, somewhere along the line to be in charge of our grill crew. Barn wine, John Hornback. Without the wonderful German beers and wines, this would not be a good German festival. So thank you, John Hornbeck, for your participation. And his crew. They do a fantastic job. Uh, also, Culture Tent. Denise Snyder, back in the corner back there, we have 30th anniversary steins and also 30th anniversary shirts. Uh, besides a lot, all the other wonderful things back in the Culture Tent area in the far corner. So please go back and see all of those. Uh, entertainment, Trixie Fabini. If it wasn't for her, we wouldn't have all the great entertainment, such we, as we have next to us right now, plus the dancers that come on, the, on Saturday. Thank you, Trixie. Events, Judy Svoboda. All through the festival, we have events that go on for a week long, and that is thanks to Judy Svoboda and her, her crew of people. Thank you, Judy. Security, Ed Keller, once again, Ed is, Ed is in another aspect. He does the security for us. Cleanup and storage, Adam Berger. He makes sure that all, everything that you see here gets brought out, kept in good shape, put away, brought out again each year. Thank you very much for the, a huge, huge job. And also location, John Higgins. John Higgins sees that everything gets put in its place, sees that all the tables and chairs that you have out here to sit on are there to be and, and where they're supposed to be. Uh, also, he sees that we have porta johns, which are extremely important. <laughs> Later on, you will, you will tell. Uh, so be thankful for John and his location and, and planning out everything in this, in this facility. If it wasn't for his planning, this thing would not be laid out so well. Last but not least, I'd like to introduce Fritz, our mascot. Oh, there he is. The, the, the children love Fritz, and I think quite a few adults too. 